To complete the Unit 4 Interactive Poster Project, you need to demonstrate your understanding of what would happen in a food web if a species was added or removed from that food web. This tutorial is to give you an example of one way to do that. We're going to look at the Chesapeake Bay Waterbird food web. More specifically, we're going to ask the question, what would happen if we were to remove the small planktivorous fish? As you see, the small planktivorous fish is a main food source for three other secondary consumer organisms, one of which is a main food source for the osprey as well as the bald eagle. If we look at these arrows, the blue represents a decrease in population, while the red represents an increase in population. If we were to remove the small planktivorous fish, one may predict that the passivorous fish would decrease as well as the wading birds, falls, and turns. With the large passivorous fish disappearing, we would have an impact on the osprey, and perhaps one could predict the bald eagle would decrease. However, with no competition, the bald eagle may also increase due to its ability to feed on the sea ducks. Also, zooplankton, as well as phytoplankton, should increase with less small planktivorous fish, which would directly impact the population of the bivalves. This increase could directly impact the ducks and bring their populations down. Again, this is just one example of a way to show or demonstrate your understanding of what would happen in a food web if we were to add or remove a species. There are many other ways to do it and we look forward to your creativity as you complete your interactive poster.